sharing one of the finest five star hotel experiences that you can have when in Agra. everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I am in the beautiful city of love, Agra. I am here for two days and I am going to be staying at the Courtyard by Marriott Hotel here. And in this video I am going to be sharing my entire experience of staying in this beautiful beautiful property and also enjoying their delicious food. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and watching the whole of this video because I know you are going to love it. So I have got my room keys and I am on the way to my room. I am just really really looking forward to it. Let's go. Hello and welcome from my room at the Courtyard by Marriott in Agra. I am honestly overwhelmed by what I'm seeing in front of me because this is not a room, it's a suite. So let me give you guys a tour. So this here is the living room area of sorts. And first thing that has caught my eye is this. So this is like the mini bar section. Inside there's the fridge. And this side we have a cabinet where I think they have some glasses and stuff. And here we have the tea corner and it is literally in a corner. And here we have the rest of the living room. So there are couches, there's like a really, really low marble center a table so you can sit here chill watch TV or even enjoy a meal at the dining table and here there is like a welcome surprise for me so these are all of my pictures from so many different occasions the team at courtyard has given me such a warm welcome for that i'm super super grateful but i need to show you guys these So I think they've been really creative. So this upper strip of chocolate with my pictures in it is actually a reel. If you can see from the top, it's like that proper film reel. And on the lower part, we have various treats. I'm glad that they actually took the effort to select so many different pictures. I'm having a little bit of the chocolate from that reel. We need to indulge in this. There's a fruit tart. There's like, I think pieces of brownie. But the thing that I have been waiting to have is Petha. So this is some fancy Kesar Petha. If you guys don't know, apart from being the city of love, Agra is also the city for Petha and Dal Mot. And I really wish to explore these two local specialities. Actually, ek to hoi gaya, thanks to the team at Courtyard. This is nice. There's also like a little flight here, a plane, which probably is the best way to describe my love for travel right now and the amount I've been traveling. Touch wood. If there's something I really wanted to try, it is this fruit tart. If you guys know me, you know my love for fruit tart. Mm. It is sweet, obviously, but there's like a bit of a cheesy feeling in it. I think I'm going to be having... This is like a dry fruit bar. I don't know, what is it? It's got a layer of biscuit below. It's got tutti frutti inside, dried fruit, and the layer of biscuit below. It's just feeling like a modern take on chikki. And I've come back to Desi Mithai. I think this is also kind of a petha. That's what I'm feeling from the base. Probably it's chocolate petha. Let's try. Mmm, it is. Wow. I think I could just go on trying different kinds of petha while I'm here in Agra. And here I'm going to be checking out what the view is like. It is a pool view room and I can see the pool from here. I'm going to show you guys how it looks at night. Of course, it looks better to me than you guys can see it on the screen. But I will give you a tour of the pool in the morning as well. I finally reached the bedroom of the suite. This is the bed. This is a giant king size bed. I can't just wait to get inside and like take a good nap. But before that, let me show you this part. This is like a little chill spot, a chill stool. You can sit around, say, watch TV. But if there's something that I'm really curious about, it's this chair. It's a chair, but it's like the biggest chair I've ever sat in. In fact, I think I can probably meditate here. This chair is so comfortable. And here we have the side drawers and you can see the headboard, the artwork. The overall feel of the room is pretty modern, but there's also like a hint of an old world charm when you look at this side of the room where you have this frame with the quintessential Agra Jharokhas. Also, what is interesting is that the whole room is carpeted and even the color scheme is pretty vibrant. And I think this is the wardrobe area it's got a full length mirror and there's another full length mirror on the other side and it's got a safe 
Now let me show you the other and probably the most attractive part of this room. Actually, the most attractive part of any suite. It's honestly the bathroom because they are just so huge. Now this here is the shower cubicle and the toiletries are actually jammed to the wall. So there's no individual bottles. So I can't flick anything and go back from here. But there is like a big rain shower head and there's also a hand shower. Once you get out of the shower compartment and you come to this side, here we have the sink and this is like the hand wash area and this itself is huge. But what is interesting is the bathtub here. These are all essentials here, dental kit, shoe shine kit, shaving kit and stuff. And what is interesting is that they've given bath salts. I can't wait for my tub bath. And then we have the big magnifying mirror and also a hair dryer. And this is the toilet area. And here we actually have like a wardrobe space in the bathroom. And this is actually quite huge. There's more than sufficient hanging space and shelf space. It's quite a big suite. I think outside right now is just looking so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it nicely or no, but there's like a little bit of a waterfall kind of effect. And I'm here at this uh, cafe of sorts inside Courtyard. This is called Momo To Go. So it's a smaller version of their Momo Cafe, which is where we enjoyed all of the buffet meals. And uh, I've just parked myself for a cup of chai. I've been like roaming around all through the day. I really need a cup of chai to like pep me up. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So not just tea and coffee, you can actually enjoy pastries, sandwiches, small snacky items and probably other desserts and stuff right here in this cute cozy cafe. When you're sitting here, you can chill, stare at the lobby. That is one of my favorite pastimes to do in hotels. Just park myself on a hotel lobby couch and observe. like jacketed up and cozy because I'm heading right now to Anis. It's a specialty dining restaurant inside Courtyard by Marriott. This restaurant actually opens only during this time of the year which is the winter season. It is an open air restaurant and from what I hear it is fabulous. So I'm heading inside to experience that and also enjoy some garam garam kebabs. Come on! Live music and a bar that looks like this. Just look at it. You know, the way they've done it, the little jarokhas, the colors. This is beautiful. It's a very different kind of bar. I don't know. I'm not much of a drinker, but I'm still enjoying sitting here. And uh, let me just tell you this. It's also a great picture spot. So I'm actually now heading inside the kitchen. And you know what you have to do before heading inside the kitchen? Wear a cap. I know I'm looking hilarious, but uh, I really want to go inside. So it's a beautifully cold evening and what better to enjoy here in Agra than kebab. So that's what I'm having. So I have the veg gelotti kebab here. I know you guys will be like gelotti kebab cannot be vegetarian but they made something for us vegetarian so deal with that and that's what I'm going to be trying. What is interesting is the assorted chutneys and stuff on the side. So there's actually a pineapple chutney, green coriander chutney and then there is onion along with yogurt. So it's not raita like it's just a little bit of a marinade on the onion. First I'm going to be just trying the kebab plain so it's actually just super super soft it broke with absolutely no pressure and you can see the little bit of the naan below mm, literally melt in your mouth the level of spice in this is real such a good flavor of whole spices i'm like really looking forward to trying it with the pineapple chutney now i'm just going all in taking the lower part the paratha and the green chutney the pineapple chutney and relishing this mind blowing now i'm trying the paneer ki nazakat i think that's what it was called this is the paneer kebab i put some lime on top and along with the pineapple and coriander chutney this is like Wow. Even the thing that they gave with the onion and the curd, that was also amazing. But I think for me today, the pineapple chutney is the hero from all of the condiments and stuff put together. So the paneer actually has a little bit of like a stuffing. I wouldn't call it stuffing. Actually, I don't know what I would call it. It's like a center filling of sorts. Trying that center bit. 
only. So that centre part is a play on flavour. There is like a lingering chatpata flavour from the paneer, but that centre bit is a little bit sweet. It is actually cashews with a little bit of anardana, which is why it has that amazing sweet and kind of a little bit of a sour flavour. I think it's also got like various other spices and there is a hint of like cardamom powder. I don't know, maybe. But I find myself reaching out for that centre bit and really really relishing it and now they've actually started playing live music so i'm going to be sitting back enjoying my kebabs along with this live music it is now time for main course and what better than biryani over here right i mean it's a beautiful cold night and garam garam biryani with lots of veggies and a beautiful flavor just how a biryani should be is the need of the hour so this came in this little handi of sorts covered with the roti on top once that was open it was steaming hot and what I really enjoyed was the different veggies inside, cauliflower, peas, carrots, a little bit of potatoes and of course elaichi. How can you miss elaichi in biryani? It wasn't too heavy on whole spices, there was a sufficient flavour. It was kind of like a very beautifully done biryani, not too dry, not too runny either, not overly oily and not overly spicy. This I enjoyed with raita, it was a plain raita with a fair bit of jeera in it. I think together the combination was wow. What I enjoyed the most was the fried onion on top and there was a point where I got like an entire bun and for me that was the best bite of the night. And now it's time for dessert. This is gulab jamun thandai mousse. I would have honestly really liked just plain garam garam gulab jamun, but okay, we'll try this. You can see chunky pieces of gulab jamun and the layers of the thandai flavored mousse. First I thought it was just cream until I figured out the full name of this dish. Wow. I don't think I've ever imagined thandai in this texture, but this is like creamy goodness. It's airy, it's smooth and it's that typical thandai flavour. I think gulab jamun is kind of toning that down a little bit because it's way more sweeter than the thandai itself but this is a very interesting, a very unique combination. What I want to try is this. I think this could be pan flavoured. Let's try it. I don't know whether my palate has gone all that way or no but this feels like a little kesar pista something. So the lowermost layer of the dessert is seeming a little bit different. Initially I thought it was gulab jamun itself but I think it's a bit more powdery. It's definitely way sweeter than anything else and it's got a very strong flavour of uh, rose. So that was my meal experience at Anis. Anis is their specialty Indian restaurant and their main cuisine is on the Avadi, on the Mughlai side. I think for anybody who enjoys those flavours, especially non-vegetarian, you guys are gonna love it. I particularly enjoyed the vegetarian, of course. The gilotti kebabs were like chef's kiss, melt in your mouth. So I have overeaten. I'm gonna chill for a bit and probably watch some TV. Maybe I'll indulge in a nice bubble bath and I'm gonna call it a night, rest well and see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of the property and we'll probably also enjoy some breakfast in bed. See you. Good morning you guys, welcome to another day here in Courtyard by Merit, Agra. I have just woken up, I was offered to enjoy the breakfast in bed. So that's what I'm going to be doing but I'm going to be having it here on my table because the spread is huge. Let me show you guys. Alright, so this is the entire breakfast spread. We have an omelette. It's an onion, chilies and coriander omelette. There's also a little bit of a roasted tomato and a hash brown on the side. Then we have waffle which is looking super duper crispy. We have a platter of fruit which if you guys know me enough, you know I'm going to be having this. And then there's juice. There's watermelon juice and pineapple juice. So I'm going to be indulging in this beautiful breakfast and seeing you guys by the pool. down here I'm back at the lobby and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the property so just at the entry door of the hotel there's actually a fountain and today it's decorated with a little bit of flowers and just this flowing sound of water and this part as well makes for great pictures I think this part of hotels I very rarely show but this is a washroom that is so beautifully done look at the mirrors 
it's just giving that fancy almost princess uh, dressing room kind of vibe another reason why i like this place is because there is like a see through glass and the natural daylight is falling in and natural daylight and getting ready is a combination that always works so this is the outdoor garden area which they give for weddings and events and stuff and this here behind me are jharokhas so this is like a permanent backdrop for pictures which is there over here so in case you want that typical agra style of picture you have one at courtyard by marriott as well so they actually have a children's play area now this here is their restaurant where they have all of their buffet experiences breakfast lunch and dinner it's called cafe momo they actually have a travel desk which has been very very helpful to me in planning out all of my trips here within agra because I am here for a very short time and they were able to help me to max out my time here. They also have a spa here, the Tatwa Spa. I don't think I've seen a pool area this pretty in a while and right now they've actually decorated it because they have an event going on but I'm going to be chilling here for a bit. I think for me this is probably one of the most beautiful pool sides I've seen in a while. These cabanas which are literally partially on the pool are the best way for a person like me to chill who doesn't know swimming. I don't know they just give a very very different vibe and also right now this time of the year the weather is amazing. So just sitting here chilling is feeling wow. So now that I've found my spot I think I'm going to be chilling out here for a bit and I'm so thankful to the team at Courtyard by Marriott in Agra for being such wonderful and gracious host they really left no stone unturned for me to ensure that i have a splendid time in agra and uh, i'm able to share good content with you guys so thank you once again and i'm going to be leaving all of the address and details of this property in the description box below make sure you check them out whenever you're in agra so that is really it from me in this video make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you know about more content from agra and also check out the links in the description box below don't forget to give this video a big like and share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you in my next video bye